I know that you meant that long round of applause that had nothing to do with not wanting to get back in class. So I mean, that, that was, uh, thank you very much. Thank you for the reception uh, on our behalf this morning. Really enjoyed getting back into a high school and seeing all the faces up in the audience. Thank you very much. Mr. Hall. So I want to just um, say a couple things about Mr. Otto. Um, this is the fourth year that Mr. Otto and I have worked together. And I'm so pleased that his hard work and dedication is being recognized here today. I want to thank Emily Grant and Mr. Duras for identifying some of the ways that Mr. Otto has distinguished himself in his work. Um, among the faculty, we like to think about everything we do by asking the question, is it good for students? And in my work with Mr. Otto, this is the question that drives the decisions that makes, he makes every day. Parts of his job, as you know, are not fun. He's the guy who has to Students have to see when they've broken a rule, skipped a class, snuck out of school, etc. Yet each interaction that he has with students, and for that matter with adults, is done so with respect and genuine care. As a principal and assistant principal, we work really closely as a team. Mr. Otto is the perfect team member for me. It's important, on one hand, that we're philosophically on the same page, yet we need to be able to push each other by being willing to disagree to try and figure out what is in fact best for students in the school. Mr. Otto makes me a much better principal than I would be on my own because he helps me to see different perspectives, to think of things I would never have thought, and to do the best work that I can. Rosalind Carter once said that a leader takes people where they want to go. A great leader takes people where they don't necessarily want to go but ought to be. I feel that like Mr. Otto has demonstrated his ability to do just that both with individuals and with our school. He's helping many of us to go places we didn't think we were going to go. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much to all of you. I can't tell you how much that means to me. Um, thank you to Mr. Gross and to Ms. Cotier and, and to the Maine Principals Association. And thank you, Grant and Emily. I, I can't tell you how much your, your words mean, especially coming from both of you. I'm incredibly honored and proud to represent Yarmouth High School, Superintendent Dulloff, the Yarmouth School Committee, and all of Yarmouth schools with this recognition. It is very humbling to represent my profession, as I know there are so many excellent assistant principals in this state. Everything I do here is a product of the awesome and I mean awesome student body that we have here. I can't imagine a better place to do this job, and it's all because of you. Any successes that I personally have experienced are in partnership with the highly skilled and hardworking faculty and staff here. I am amazed and awed every day to see the tireless work that you all do for your students. So thank you to the students and staff at our school. Any recognition to me, belongs to you as well. And a special thank you to Ted Hall, who has taught me so much about what it truly means to be a leader. Thank you. Thank you.